When we talk about digital transformation, we talk about everything that changes our business. We are here with Rockwell Automation. Chan, how are you doing today? Hey, good morning, Harold. Thanks, uh, thanks for having me. Pleasure. Uh, first of all, I would like if you can say some things about yourself. Tell us sure. about yourself. Sure. I'm working in Rockwell Automation's uh, Digital Transformation Center of Excellence. And so part of my role is to work uh, with our sales teams and with our customers to, to look at how we might infuse digital offerings uh, into their solutions and, and act as a trusted advisor with our customers who are looking to digitally transform their businesses. And so I get to peek under the covers, if you will, uh, into our customers' business and and really you know sit side beside them and help them uh, figure out how they're going to transform. There's going to have to be a need to work more towards um, integrated business outcomes you know, that support sustainability goals, uh, really throughout the whole life cycle of the, of the product or, or whatever you're manufacturing. We saw from this report that, um, that the manufacturers view the need for digital technologies as kind of this advantage of improving that, whether it's focusing on quality or uh, innovation or even attracting the next generation of, of workers. And I think they expect to mitigate some of that risk through the use of technologies and and change of that process. But you know, I think digital transformation is really at the center of enabling companies to meet these sustainability goals. You're saying is that it's an approach to having sustainability goals embedded in business processes. I think if you if you have an eye on that from the beginning, you know, what materials are you including in your product? Are you using the most efficient way to manufacture it? But you know, but it's it's easy to have these goals, right? But you then you have to have the ability to affect that change, right? It's it's one thing to write a regulation or a policy. Um, you really have to have a way to enable it. So if sustainability equals conservation, then product quality directly translate to that. I think the emphasis on like accessing that data and understanding what what you need to improve on i think is the really the key here we use work terms like analytics and machine learning and ai and but at the very basic level um you have to first you know connect to these machines you have to first understand how they're operating in a lot of cases you're already getting data but you don't understand how to interpret that data and so there's some very simple things you can do assessing your performance in the manufacturing process and identifying bottlenecks with, with commercial products that are out there today. Uh, sometimes it's just as simple as, is the machine on or is the machine off? Is it running when I want it to be running and is it running to the capacity that it should? You know, how do I relate that to the what energy I'm consuming during those processes? And then how do I optimize that? There is a, a report, the um, Smart Manufacturing Report, the State of Smart uh, Manufacturing Report from Rockwell Automation. The story, how we get there, how we prepare that report for what, and what's the purpose of the report? Yeah, so, you know, the report really, you know, surveys, uh, I think it's over, you know, around 1,400, maybe it's 1,300 uh, customers of ours. It acknowledges this importance of adoption, smart manufacturing technologies, uh, really to make, remain competitive. The survey also showed that, you know, about a third of that data that they do collect goes on you. These technologies are creating a lot of tech data access to them and there's opportunity to harness that and analyze it really to increase their performance. What findings we have in the report about product and quality and connected with elements of ESG and sustainability program. How we model you know, our production, our consumption to ensure that we you know, refurbish and recycle and make these products last as long as possible. And I think that's really where quality comes in, you know, by uh, you know, eliminating waste and the pollution on how we design and, and manufacture uh, these products. How this fits the concept of circular economy on, on the, in this process? You're gonna have to monitor your processes, right? You can't impact the life cycle if you if you're not monitoring a product right. throughout its life cycle right so as systems get older they consume more fuel for instance they're they they're more they're less efficient they're so how do we in a circular economy how would we then either uh modify that product while it's in the field uh, through a design change um or uh or we make a decision maybe to take it out of service 
we can get a lot of value by, from the eighth annual state of smart manufacturing report yeah. from Rockwell. Uh, having said this, uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for, for this conversation. And I'm happy to have you here. And so much gratitude for that. Yeah, thanks, Harold. Thanks for having me. And, and I would just close by saying, you know, please read the report. And if, if the audience has any questions or wants to discuss any part of it, please reach out. We'd be happy to happy to have a conversation with you and see see where you are on your your, your journey.